22, New York City, riding out of town today. So we're going across the bridge from Brooklyn into Manhattan, across Manhattan, and then into another state. Our destination is the 9W Market, which is quite a popular ride for New Yorkers. We've opted to get up nice and early because it's gonna be 33 degrees again. So early start, consume a fair few beers and quite a big pizza yesterday. So feeling a bit, not feeling the best, but look where we are. This is cool. Even though we've been here a couple of days, I've actually missed the noise. We've managed to stay in the quietest place in the whole of New York City somehow. I think we lucked out, to be honest. I think we got very lucky with the um, accommodation choice. We're the only cyclists that stop at red lights. I think we are, yeah, that we guy's just done we us. We overtake people and then they just, we stop at the red light and then they go past us, so we just yeah. look like knobs. Because we're, because we're not New Yorkers. I really thought getting up early would mean there would be slightly less people around. I was wrong. Uh, Obviously, New York starts its day at 5 a.m. So, the city that never sleeps. Daisy. That's what I heard. Is that why I haven't slept? No, that's jet lag. Oh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm confused by the parking situation in New York, Daisy. Why are they in the middle? Is that parking? It's definitely not. George Washington Bridge. It took us a while. I imagine if you were a local, you'd know all the routes and there'd be a much quicker way to get here because it must have taken us over an hour of just traffic light, traffic light, traffic light, traffic light. I'm pretty sure when we did this ride in winter, when we were with New Yorkers, that we like crossed Central Park and then managed to hit the river straight away, which was a busier but much quicker road. Once we get over this bridge, we will officially be in New Jersey and almost straight away, we'll be on a very, very nice quiet road down by the river. I think it might be called the river road and then we're basically going to follow that until the point we turn around there's some cafes and stuff and i think an old police station on the way i can't exactly remember it was so long ago since i last went but um nice to be doing it in basically the opposite conditions there are some people on electric vehicles here absolutely hooning it there's technically a speed limit for bikes but no not these ones swift again across the bridge. First little stop and refuel on the menu today is uh, sour sticks. That is a visual representation of how you'll feel after eating sour sticks. I actually really like riding through the city and if you want to see New York, it's one of the best ways to do it. You can rent city bikes, you can bring your own bikes. I'm sure RCC exists in New York. It does because we've been there. I don't know if they rent bikes, but they might if you need a better bike than the city bikes, uh, that might be a good option. It's just such a good way to see a place because it slows you down. You see stuff that you wouldn't normally see if you were just taking the subway or taking a taxi and you really immerse yourself in wherever you may be. Same rule applies everywhere. How are your sour sticks? you can get out onto nice country roads like this road bike friendly routes quicker than you can get out of London because as soon as you cross this bridge you're immediately on nice stuff of course it depends where in Manhattan you live but even if you're uh, kind of on the outskirts of London like I used to live you still had to commute a significant distance to your ride it's a good 40 minutes and then if you live in central it's even more than that I just always thought massive city like New York it would take ages to get on the nice roads but not the case as good as you remember it yeah hotter though it was a lot easier last time in terms of heat i feel like i'm in a vietnamese jungle right now less paralysis ticks though huh? less tigers that we know of that we know of a bear oh there are bears here do they probably do you have bears here <gasps> pigeon off the river road now onto the 9w which is well is it a main road 
It looks like a main road, but it's not a main road because the actual main road is just over there parallel to us, which means it's very, very quiet. On top of that, there's an absolutely massive hard shoulder, which all the cyclists use. So there's a lot of riders on here. You can see them coming back the other way. What time did they leave their houses this morning? Ridiculous. We're on this for 5K and then we're gonna stop for some food. I've got a 12 minute video in like the inside of my pocket. You can start a channel. Yeah, it's like a podcast of our ride. But I actually have many, many more videos. Oh, you could upload a whole series. The ride was totally worth it for this piece of toast. Mm. Very nice bread. Very nice bread. I thought Americans couldn't do bread. There's our turning round point. Nice little refuel at that cafe. And um, yeah, one of the main roads that local New Yorkers do. You can carry on going, just keep following this road. Uh, make your ride as long as you want for us. This is enough, especially considering we live in Williamsburg at the moment. So we've got to ride all the way through Manhattan as well, which is a bit of a time suck. Should be back before it gets really hot today. I'm going to eat my words. My Garmin elevation thing is showing a Neapolitan ice cream of death. I have eaten my words. We almost opted to stay on the main road which would have been less elevation and slightly faster heading back to George Washington Bridge. But because this is in the shade, we've come back to the river road. It means we can take it a little bit easier, no cars to contend with. And it takes us all the way back to that bridge. Well, a little bit past it and then you've got to go up a really steep climb, but the lesser of two evils. It's definitely warm. Warm like a lightsaber. Warm. Oh, funny fact about the George Washington Bridge. It has two layers, so underneath this road, because this one has too much traffic, they built another one underneath. So it's like a under road. I think that gets too busy as well. So maybe they need to add a third one. You just keep going. They only had American sized bags. Your pocket will never be the same again. When you eventually reach a bridge after the chaos of riding through the streets of New York, it's a rare moment of peace. A kind of peace anyway. It's not like peace and quiet, but it's peace that you're probably not going to get run over by a motorized vehicle. I say probably because there seems to be a lot of guys riding scooters that I guess they're pretending that they're e-bikes, but they're definitely not. In the last few years, since I last came to New York, there has been an explosion of way more delivery riders and people riding electronic vehicles. And most of them can do like 50 mile an hour, so probably illegal. Definitely illegal. Still rather have them near me than a car though. Plus three miles, I'm cooked. It's quite uphill, this bridge. It is really uphill. 